yeah, it's kind of isolated me a lot. I almost felt like I didn't have a life. I didn't want to go to job. Uh, I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to socialize with people. Even when I'm with, the, with my friends, female friends, and relationship is definitely one aspect of it. It's kind of, um, there is no intimacy, even it's emotional or physical. But I thought to myself, okay, if I finish with my boyfriend, that I will never meet somebody ever again because I, I just don't have the confidence because it's like I've got a secret. It's a devastating feeling for a woman. I had female pattern, uh, I think it's called androgenetic alopecia because my mother had uh, very thin hair. It's mainly the top of my hair, like a circular kind of area. And uh, in my 20s, it started to uh, get finer. And uh, in my 30s, uh, I lost a lot of hair at the top of my head and I started to look for uh, some solutions. And I would say I've probably been to every clinic in London. And um, after about 35, I started to invest on um, hair pieces and that start to irritate my scalp, itchy scalp, scabbing, continuous, continuous, I would say agony, physical pain, but then uh, bonding styles I've used. I've used everything on the market, everything possibly a woman can try. I spent a lot of money, I put myself in debt. I never felt happy. I actually came across to this type of treatment when I was looking for hair pieces again. Um, and it was like, it was too good to be true. And immediately I started to look for places in London because I live in London. But uh, when I realized the history of um, who is running the place and the practitioners here, I thought, now I have to go and meet these people. It just felt so comfortable and the way they use their um, skills and the techniques it was very unique and uh, because I'm highly aware of what is on the market and not so you know about one week uh, before my appointment I almost didn't sleep because I was so excited it was so good to be true so I now feel that like I am like when I was in my 20s okay I don't have that thick thick hair but my scalp doesn't show it's just the first treatment by the way I've got two more but I'm really really happy and I spoke to my sister over Turkey and she's going to come and get the treatment as well. We've already made the appointment um, for a consultation. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. And today I'm going to meet up my hairdresser in London, 20 years. She's never heard nothing like that. And she's so curious to see my hair. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I really feel that I'm a different person today. When I walk out of this door, it is just unbelievable. I actually would like to be able to not to use any top coverage, especially in summer times. I would like to be able to go to holidays again. I would like to be able to do some ponytail again, which I couldn't because my hair was balding so bad in the top. I could not. And um, those sprays that I've used over the time, I'm going to ditch them now. They're all going to be. And when I go to sleep in the morning, I don't have to cover my uh, parts before my partner wakes up. It's like a little secret. It's just like I have to leave it a little secret. Now, I don't have a secret. I'm just myself. I am so pleased that I've actually made the decision to come here. Even though I have made few appointments in London clinics, immediately I spoke to um, Paul. I have actually cancelled those. I actually gave Paul a hug. Yes, um, I would say it's unbelievable to me. It was too good to be true, but it is actually true. I feel like I found a solution and it's, 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 it's a psychology boost up. It's not just the hair, it's my um, mental health in a way, I would say. It's my uh, whole uh, personality. I feel much uplifted. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a drug, but it's not a drug. It's just a little bit of hair. It makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm.